All right, Tim, I think um, probably need the gla- uh, the crystal ball for this one. Do you have the crystal ball here? No, I did not bring it for uh, this one, unfortunately, well, so all I- our predictions will be lesser. <laughs> I think we can probably tackle this one quite quickly. To anyone with a 5000 series CPU, uh, is it even worthwhile to upgrade to AM5 CPUs? So... Well, we don't have the new AM5 CPUs, so... So basically, we can't give you an answer on that because we don't know how good they are. We, we we know very little at this point, despite you know AMD giving some official information. But regardless, again, it depends. So if you have maybe uh, a lower-end Ryzen 5000 series part, not that there are that many that are terribly slow. Like, I expect the Ryzen yeah. 5 5600 to be good for gaming for the foreseeable but maybe you have one of the APUs or something like that, um, then you know, you maybe maybe you're also gaming, but getting into video editing or something like that, so you want some more cores. Um, then you have to do a platform upgrade, so and you, then you may DDR5 as well upgrade memory. To, yeah, yeah, look, I think I think for Ryzen 5000 series owners, you've probably got a really fast computer that's going to do what you need to do for the next few years, so you'd probably skip the initial release, jump on the second... Uh, generation of AM5 where DDR5 memory will have hopefully come down to sort of meet DDR4. So my guess would be no, it's not going to make sense. I think it's pretty rare to see situations where it makes sense to do a single generation yeah, upgrade for almost CPUs. Never. Like unless you've gone from a historically terrible generation to a really good generation, like maybe mm-hmm. 11th gen Intel to 12th gen Intel. Mm-hmm. Aside from which those you have situations, to motherboard anyway. which I, yeah, I, I know, but I guess my <laughs> I point is that yeah, yeah. you go from something ba- really bad yep. and not very fast to something that's much faster. That's yep. the only time it makes sense. But mm. even throughout most of the Ryzen generation, it didn't really make a lot of sense to do those single generation upgrades. No, that's right, and that's why the th- that's why we thought that the AM4 platform, the broad support, the longevity of that platform would be a key selling point. Because as Tim said, you don't really go the next generation. The generation after that, maybe that's where it starts to possibly yeah. make sense. And I think with AM4, it did. Especially, especially if you jump up a tier. Like yeah, you're going, going up Ryzen 5 to two generations future mm-hmm. Ryzen 7. It's a big Absolutely. upgrade. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. From like the Ryzen 5 1600 to the Ryzen 7 3700X. That was a huge performance upgrade, um, depending yep. on if you needed that performance. And then certainly the generation after that, it made sense. So, yep. yeah. I think that answers that one. 